Hey folks, welcome to the country. Out in the country, where I live at least, there's no power that runs all the way out here unless I want to spend a copious amount of money. So, like you, I put in a solar uh, fence, basically a solar gate opener. So, we purchased the USA Automatic Solar fence opener. You got our little panel here that's facing south to get the best sun. So all seemed honky-dory until uh, I started noticing that the gate was noticeably getting slower and slower and slower as time progressed. And then it just stopped working altogether. So I'm not Mr. Handy or Mr. Mechanic or anything, but I am handy with YouTube. So I thought, hey, why don't I look on YouTube and see what I can find? So, ripping through some of the forums and whatnot and looking at some of the replacement parts and going through all the mess of the internet, I finally found what the issue is. And I'm happy to say that I fixed it today. So this isn't going to be a step-by-step -step video for the most part, but... What it will be is give those, like myself, who are looking for an insight on how to fix this thing, how to do it, and knock it out quickly. So, right to it. What's the problem? The problem is, that I found out, is the solar control unit is bad in this thing. So what happening is, is that it burnt out. So this solar panel here wasn't providing energy to the battery inside and thus it wasn't charging the battery and just wearing down my deep cycle battery. So let's open it up. Out in the country they steal batteries a lot. So anyways, I got a camera set up so you see it. So anyhow, like I said, I've already finished, but let's take a look at this guy right here. So with the US Automatic Gate Company, they install this guy right here, which is the automatic uh, gate, or I'm sorry, it's the um, solar system. And that little button that says system error, well that thing wasn't even on at all. This thing was completely dead. I don't know if we had a uh, lightning storm or what have you, but it was toast. This thing was toast. So I didn't have the part number because I was at work and not at home. So I did some research and found this thing on Amazon and found out that this indeed is a hunk of trash. Everyone hates it and suggests you get rid of it. And also it also said that there's no readily parts available. So you cannot get a direct replacement for this. So that was a problem. So I did a little bit more research and actually came up with this. This is the CMG, I think it's called the 20, I don't know, I'll have to look here while we're going, but it is, I don't know, CMG series solar charge controller. It has a number, I can't think of it off the top of my head, I think it's like the 2040 or something like that. But it's a 12 volt charging system. It's kind of cool. Um, has USB capability if you want to plug something USB, which I don't. Also has two DC ports right here for you to plug in if you had something uh, related to uh, DC that you wanted to output. And as you can see right down here, they provide you with these little cheesy um, plugins, but I didn't need them. So anyhow, to make an extremely long story short, what I ended up doing was taking my solar panel wire here and I clipped off the power the uh, power in which would be your solar power in which went in right there and I exposed the two the red and black the positive and negative wire of the solar uh, wires and I plugged them in right there where it shows the solar panel. Uh, then I clipped off the little battery port right here. I pulled these, I had a couple things, that kit tabs that came out, the plug in here, positive, negative. Pulled them out, clipped them off, exposed again the wires, the positive and negative. 
and boom, popped them in right here. And press the on button and to my great surprise and excitement, it's on. I know it's hard for you to see, but you can see that it's kind of going. I guess you can see it through here. So it's a cloudy day It actually pretty nasty weather here in Texas. So um, you can see the voltage there is 13.3 volts. Um, output is in zero because it's only output when I actually use the fence. And then right here, I'm trying to get it. See right there where it says zero, zero point amps. It's not getting anything right now because the it's not charging because it's, there's, it's all cloudy. But see that little sunshine guy right there, right? there that is showing you that it is indeed hooked up and it's seeing the sun which is awesome um, at nighttime it'll show a moon that I found out so anyways um, it is hooked up it even tells you the degrees in uh, Celsius if you're interested I'm not I don't know there's a Celsius button there I wonder if I could push that and it'll change it to Fahrenheit I doubt it because this is a Chinese made product anyhow this product was I believe it was $21 off of Amazon. Next day shipped if you're prime. And again, I am not the handiest guy in the world. I kind of can muddle my way through, but if I have a YouTube video, I can make it happen. Well, guess what? Here's your YouTube video. I made it happen. It worked. Very simple wiring. Looks like it's going. I'm going to check it on a sunny, sunny day and see how many amps are coming in from the sun. And hopefully this will recharge my battery and make it happen. So, in closing, piece of crap. Don't bother doing it again. I guess a couple people have gotten it a couple of times and it keeps blowing up. This lasted, I want to say almost four years for us. So I guess that's not that bad considering electronics out in the weather and heat and all the craziness. And this has gotten a lot of great reviews. I think it had... I want to say almost 100 reviews that were all four and a half stars plus a couple DOAs, but that's just going to happen when it comes to electronics. So that is my review. I certainly hope it helped you and because I wish I had something like this when I started. Uh, and that's about it. Y'all have a great day.